anyone learning something new, whether they're a dancer learning a pirouette or a nurse learning to draw blood, needs to see it done first. But too often, the strategies used by teachers remain hidden from their students. This is especially true when it comes to strategies for locating better information online. It's really important to model effective strategies for our students because these are not strategies that come naturally. We don't all just begin to read laterally. Instead, we need to see these uh, strategies demonstrated for us. Uh, whenever we learn a new strategy, uh, it's much easier to learn it if you see it enacted. You don't learn to become a skilled carpenter by just being told how to build a bookshelf. Instead, you watch somebody else doing it. Research has shown that fact checkers evaluate information on the internet more effectively than other competent people by using strategies like lateral reading. We need to show students how to use these effective strategies with real online content. Modeling is a really key way for us to make visible what's otherwise invisible, to, to make concrete these strategies. And then, once we've modeled it for students, we can give them opportunities to practice it in a really structured context and then allow students to practice it independently. So what does that actually look like in the classroom? The first step is preparation. Ask yourself a few key questions. What is the source you'll use to model? How would you evaluate that source? And what points are most important to address with students? For example, imagine you are going to model lateral reading. You will need a source that allows you to open a new tab and quickly locate information about who's behind it. The second step is to actually walk students through your thinking process. Display your screen so all students can see it. As you evaluate the source, explain your thinking for students and name the specific strategies as you use them. Be concise. Modeling can be done in just a few minutes. Debrief. Talk with your students about what you did, what sources you used, and how lateral reading allowed you to learn about who was behind the source. After you model the strategy, engage students in guided practice. Work together as a class to evaluate a second source. Reinforce the modeled strategies by asking students to share their thinking. As students gain proficiency, provide them with opportunities to practice independently. Then, debrief as a whole class. During the debriefing, focus both on the source and how students evaluated it. Ask, what sources did you use? Why? How did you find them? Modeling doesn't have to be very time consuming. We can do it in three or four minutes and give students a much better sense of how to actually use these strategies. By modeling, students get a clear example of how to get a more effective answer in a much shorter time.